Okay, let's show um, a testing scenario um, for MPO links, single mode MPO links using these simple tools. This is a Link Expert M3 uh, and the Cable Master FO. And I want to test uh, an end to end MPO uh, link. So I have a couple cassettes here. Um, so you could think of this as. Um, uh, and a and a trunk cable here. Just this is about I think seventy five meters uh, or seventy five feet. Sorry of uh, of twelve strand MPO, and um, we're going to connect this uh, from cassette to one side of the trunk, uh, and then to the other cassette. So this would be like from from one bulkhead to the other bulkhead for an MPO, uh, 12 strands, okay, um, um, uh, like MDF to IDF, I guess, uh, is the way you would think of this. But we want to be able to test end to end with these tools, okay? So we will show that with these uh, relatively simple tools, a, a quick way to get loss values and also prove polarity on the entire the entire um, uh, trunk, okay? So I'm gonna show it on desktop here. Of course, in reality, this is going to be spaced out across um, likely a data center or some, uh, some high density network, right? Um, uh, so in, uh, while we're doing this test, keep in mind in reality, you're gonna have one tester on, on one side, like MDF side, the other side is gonna have the other tester, okay? And it's gonna be basically be two people operating these devices, but we're gonna be showing it here um, all together. So let's let's just jump into this. Let's set up the, the, the link first. So I'm gonna use good practice here and I'm going to clean um, my connections uh, before I make their connect, before I, I drop them in place. And um, I'm using uh, this MPO clean machine to be able to do that. Let's make this connection. Okay. Do the same thing over here. And now we are connected. Now, the first thing I want to do in this situation is confirm the polarity is correct and confirm that I don't have any fibers broken. Okay. And I want to do that using a red laser, a visual fault locator um, is what's called in the industry or VFL. And uh, I have a VFL in both of these tools. I have a VFL here in um, in the uh, uh, Link Expert M3, we can just turn that on. You can take a look at that. There's the VFL, that red laser. That's going to give me a visual indicator of whether or not the fiber is made. And can show you here on the um, on the Cable Master FO. Turn that on. There it is. Okay. So let's just do that real quick. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to use the FO here, and this would be end-to-end -end so that you would be communicating to the person on the opposite end. So now I've got the, um, the uh, red laser coming out of the FO unit here, Cable Master FO. And so I'm going to go ahead and plug into, uh, from the IDF side, right, I'm going to plug into port 1 on this cassette and I should see a uh, red laser coming out of port one on the MDF side. And sure enough, I do, right? From end to end, okay? So port one is correct. You can see that there, okay? Let's now check port two. There we go. I can see port two, uh, port three, okay? And again, this would be a two-person job, more than likely. You could do one person too, but a little more time consuming. But you'd be communicating that you're seeing light strong and on the right port each time you move down. So I'm now on port six, 
or channel six, fiber six, now seven, and now eight, and now nine, and 10, you can see that, yep, and 11, yep, and 12, okay? So really quickly, what I've done here is I've proved the polarity and that the fibers are not broken on this entire uh, link. Again, that would be cassette here, cassette here, and the entire uh, uh, trunk in between. Okay. Uh, polarity is correct and that there are no fibers broken. So now my only question is how much loss do I have on these individual channels? So let's determine that. So I'm going to turn the VFL off on the cable master FO. Okay. And I'm going to, well, I've moved it to the, uh, pulse function. Let's turn that off. There we go. So we're off there. And now um, we're going to go to the other port here. Okay. And I'm on 1310, which is the correct wavelength for this single mode application. I'm going to grab a, um, uh, a source here. We're going to do essentially do a light source power meter test uh, with this device. And I'm going to use uh, an SFP here. This is a simple one gig SFP. Uh, that is 1310 uh, nanometers. So it's a single mode SFP. That's what we want. So we're going to use this as my source and I'm going to load that into the Link Expert M3. Okay. I'm in there and I'm going to come out and I'm going to go to one of the other functions in this tool, which is the transmit receive option in the fiber optic menu. Okay. And you can see it's already filled in the metadata from that SFP. So I'm essentially also testing the SFP here. And I can see the power out in a couple different values. I can see it in milliwatts, but I can also see that in dBm. I can see the transmit out in milliwatts. And if I loop the fiber back into this SFP, I would also see the receive power in dBm and in milliwatts, okay? And with the new version of firmware, I even see the difference in transmit receive on this. So if I was doing a loopback scenario, I could do that. So you could you could do that. But again, we're doing end to end here. So I really would like to have a second device. That's where the Cable Master FO comes in. Okay. So let's set up a simple little reference here. So I've got a uh, just a single uh, LC. Um, cord here and I'm going to uh, couple these two fibers together okay and we're going to zero out the loss here so this is this is a reference and uh, a reference uh, procedure so I'm, I'm zeroing out the loss and again let's let's move some of these fibers out of the way so we have a clear understanding about what's happening here these other fibers that are in my messy work area all right, so let's take a look. Away from the fiber being tested, right, that NPO circuit, I simply have a fiber out of my source going to a coupler and then coupled to a second fiber, which is coming into uh, the uh, Cable Master FO on this side. And I've got a power value being, re being uh, uh, registered here, okay? So uh, 6.06 .06 coming out and 5.95 coming in. Let's, let's uh, zero this out, okay? So I'm actually gonna set the reference. And what that does is that's gonna say whatever loss is associated with these things is gonna be our zero point. And then any additional fiber we connect to it after that will be, uh, we'll get a measurement for in loss in, 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 in dB. So let's do, go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna zero this out. Let's uh, choose the reference. There we go. So now we're zeroed. Okay. And now 
you, if you're two technicians, you're going to go one, one of the technicians is going to be the unlucky one who has to take a walk to the opposite side. So let's do that. We'll separate the two fibers here in the middle. And I'm going to connect to fiber number one on this side. And remember our polarity, how we just figured that out. And I'm going to connect to fiber number one on this side. Let's bring that back into view here. And I quickly have a loss value, 1.3 dBs from end to end. That would be from cassette one through the spool of fiber, wherever that's running in your facility, to cassette two, all the way through cassette two. I have a value, 1.3 dB. Let's save that value. Saved. Okay. Let's now move to fiber two. Uh, even better, 0.97 on fiber two. Let's save that value. You can see it's being shown as uh, save number uh, 10 there. I've got other results on this device. And now another value, 0.75. Let's save that. Even better, actually, 0.49. Let's save that. Saved. Great numbers here. Excellent numbers. Let's go to fiber four, 0.92, very good, saved. Let's move on to uh, fiber number five, five, 0.86, let's save that. Let's move on to Fiber six, we're halfway through this entire um, uh, multi-strand setup. Point eight, let's save that. Point six, let's save that. Great numbers. I'm very happy with what we're seeing here. We'll talk about that in a moment. Remember TIA standards for uh, single mode and multi-mode um, um, uh, values here, or sorry, single mode uh, connections, 0.75 dBs per connector, 0.3 per splice. And we've got a few connections in this, in this link, plus the length of the fiber. We should be very happy with the numbers that we're seeing here. 1.29 dBs on that fiber, let's save it. 11. And again, there would be two people working this obviously in the field. Let's save that, 0.48. Very happy with that. And final value, 0.95 dB on fiber 12, let's save it. That's that. So now I have saved all loss values from end to end on uh, fibers one through 12 on this entire uh, link. Um, all the values here seem to be very reasonable. That's just me using uh, kind of the back of the napkin calculation there for loss. Remember, you've got 0.75 dBs per connector, 0.3 per splice, and we've got multiple connections in this link. Um, and some length of the fiber here. Uh, so we should be very happy with this. It's a quick way to verify that your equipment is correct, that it is quality, okay? Uh, I, I can see that I have, I have, um, I have connectors uh, and, and components mated correctly together. In other words, the trunk itself is mated properly to this cassette. And this cassette also is mated properly on the opposite side. I obviously don't have any broken fibers. I don't have incorrect polarities to deal with. None of that. This is an excellent and quick test to prove that you are doing, uh, that you've, you've got things right here in this setup. So um, that is Cable Master FO, small device here. 
and link expert M3 from Softic.